All right, be high and welcome. Moment of truth. I think this is my biggest one right here. It's either this one or that one. I think it's this one. And it weighs. Eh. See what this beast weighs. Mm, six and a quarter pounds? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. So that's a six, that's a six and a quarter pounder. Nice. Let's see what the small ones weigh. Mm. So yeah, I'll take this guy. This guy's really nice. Let's see what these are. Half pound. Nice. And this guy. Just curious. Wow. One and three quarter pounds. Not bad. Now, for the moment of truth, I'll have to put down the camera for this. So this is like my first harvest of the season. Okay, so for some beans, there's a little bit of everything in here. I still got more stuff. There's probably about 10 or 20 pumpkins out there that are going to be... Let's see what we got here. Twenty-three and three quarter pounds of food right there. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. So that is not bad at all. Hmm. So it gives you an idea like food to weight. Uh, if you ate five hundred pounds of food a year, you know you'd need about basically twenty baskets like this of of vegetables. Uh, doesn't quite work exactly like that, but you get the idea of, you know, of uh, how much food is actually in there. So that's pretty good. I'm going to get these guys dried off and then maybe uh, store them. Uh, it's definitely not sunny out, so I won't be able to uh, basically cure them in the sun until the sun comes out. Maybe tomorrow they'll be, be able to put them out. So th this basket is going to be moving around quite a bit. They're going to be set out in the sun for the next 10 days or so or at least 10 days of sun so the next week two weeks harden them up and then hopefully i'd like to be able to keep at least one, two of these guys for all winter and this one just to test it you know uh it's the test and maybe one of these all winter just to see how long i can actually preserve the rest i'm either going to cut up and dehydrate or i'm going to eat them <laughs> you know what i mean the beans are going to eat right away i'm not going to store the beans so i might take some beans like these big guys here and just let them uh dry out and husk them and then I can use the seeds next year and then I go from that. Hopefully I've got you guys in target there or in focus. All right, there, there we go, guys. That's uh, the first batch. Uh, I've probably, I've got a lot more of them starting. It's just they're not ready to pick yet. I got about two more, about not, about as long as this one, but not quite as uh, fat. And they, they weren't ready. That's why I didn't pick them. So um, I think I got another two of these. I got a bunch more of these, but they're not this size yet. So... I don't know if they're going to make it in time or if uh, I got about mm, five or six pumpkins. So I might have about 50, 60 pounds of uh, food and then I don't know what I got in potatoes. But I'll add it all up. So I'll just keep a running total of how much I got for the, the little effort I did into this garden this year. Uh, just to see how much I got. So next year, like, I'd like to have like 10 times of everything. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have everything ready to go next year so I don't get, you know, planting as late and um yeah i'm gonna be a lot more strategic next year anyway so this year was but i call this a success you know like it's a small success but it's a success for a you know just a half-assed garden that i threw in the ground didn't do too bad and if i can store these over winter you know if i have one of these a week or whatever eh, that'd be pretty good so i'd need about 26 of them to get about six months worth but yeah there we go like for very little energy i put in other than the setup of the garden uh it pretty much the garden took care of itself in fact if anything it over it overran itself uh so that was pretty good so my my goal will be how much time i got there it's so dark down here all the time um so w w whichever way i go for next year uh it's going to be better it's going to be like a lot better i'll just have everything a little better planned out and just plant everything so i'll probably do like a seed uh blitzkrieg on in in the in the next week or two whenever everything goes on sale so i'll have my seeds for next year and um next year i'll just plant up a storm but z these zucchinis and, and uh, squashes like this are going to be definitely a good uh, 
a lot of yield for the a lot of yield for the money you know what i mean a lot of yield for the money i mean you get a lot out of the beans too but i mean uh these beans are a little bit on the big side they're just past the, the tasty size anything bigger than this is a little bit getting starting to get a bit bit thick i mean they're okay once you boil them down but i should have picked them a little bit more would have got more out i just didn't have time but anyway yeah so next year i'm looking forward to my garden next year but uh so that's uh, the first harvest i still got to do the potatoes what i'll do because I wanted to get everything all, like a big, I probably got about that much food out there, right? If you added it all, all up. But I just, you can't pick it all at once. I still haven't picked the corn yet. I still haven't picked the, uh, like I say, the pumpkins, the potatoes. I'll get those. It's just, uh, you know, a day or two after the frost, you got to get everything picked. My beets and my turnips, uh, I don't think they, they're ready. I think they're going to stay in all winter. Uh, maybe they'll be there in the spring. They just didn't seem to do anything. I, but then again, I'm not in a good spot, right? So I don't have an ideal gardening spot light-wise. So it's like, that's why my garden, my garden should be about 10 times what it is if I was out and had a really good spot for light and stuff like that. But maybe next year I'll, I'll pick a different location and see what I can get away with. And uh, yeah, go with that. All right, there we go, guys.